Yes. Hi, Sandra. I'm so sorry. I cannot get them. Who's them? I'm trying to get Puffy or his um, Diddy or his assistant. I can't get them. Well, wait, Sandra, who are you to them? Excuse me? I thought you were his assistant. I am. Oh, how many assistants does he have? All right, he can't reach. I can't reach them right now, so I'll try to call you later. All right. Okay. Where where are, are they? Are they still in Miami? Oh. All right. <laughs> it's all good, Diddy. We're talking about you in a good light today. <sighs> anyway, back to Master P. Um. Yes, Elisa. <laughs> You know he has many assistants. I told to Taisha already. I told her that it was Tuesday that we wanted him to call. Oh. She's going to arrange it. Oh, That's okay. why I was shocked that Sanja had them in. Taisha's his, you know, he has many. There's, There's yeah. an assistant, and then the assistant has an assistant. Okay. Yeah, well, do you know Sandra? Yeah. She sounded nice. She's nice. Really pleasant. She called him Puffy, though. I would imagine if you change your name, the first, the level of, of your, you know, your front line is all supposed to call you. She's right. You know, it's, well... <laughs> You know, Miss Hill. Okay. You know, like that. Yeah. Diddy. Oh, gosh. I had a hard time even getting that out. <laughs> like, back to Master P. Um, so he, um, the, the highways were crawling. He has places where, you know, he could have brought his relatives and family members, fam- same difference, um, relatives and, and close family friends to in Houston and Baton Rouge and Lafayette. But the highways were crawling and many of the people who he went to rescue with his vans wanted to stay with their homes and their belongings. And here's what P says. Too many people cherish material things. They should be more concerned with being all right. They should cherish their lives. Talking to people who said, who stayed, man, they're just shocked. Seeing bodies floating in water, seeing family and people that they grew up with floating by dead. Watching neighbors trapped in attics trying to get out and then knowing that they've drowned. It's awful. P says that he's lost all of his homes in Louisiana. Excuse me, in in um, New Orleans. Um, he and first of all, his wife Sonia is reaching out to the big corporations to help out with ch- young children, like the Pampers Company, like the Gerber's Company. Um, and then P is just, you know, I mean, you know, he's he's doing the, he's doing the work. The good people, he's doing the work. He's doing the work, and. Um, I mean, here at the experience, you know, if you didn't hear me say this earlier or yesterday or whatever, we have um, two reasons for for doing this a radiothon. First of all, because it's for the good of the people, just the way, you know, it's just, you know, common decency. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we do a lot of silliness here on the show, and I know I don't talk politics and, and all like that, but how can you not, how can you not, you know, do something, you know, and so... I'm going to use my microphone for good, not evil. This time, but the next time. Yeah, I'm going to use my microphone for good, not evil. And so, um, you know, we're having this radio telethon. But also, I'm doing it because I happen to be syndicated in New Orleans. Um, and, and as a matter of fact, in the whole state of Louisiana, it's divided up into three radio markets. Uh, much the way, like Jersey. In Jersey, you have two radio markets. You either get New York or you get Philly. Or you get some local Jersey stations. You, you understand what I'm saying? Louisiana is divided into three radio markets. It's New Orleans at the bottom of the state, which is devastated, wiped out. It's um, Alexandria in the middle. And then top of the state is Shreveport. Well, I'm on the leading hip-hop and R&B stations in all three markets. New Orleans, the station was Q93, number one for hip-hop and R&B. And, you know, we had a strong team, our radio station. You know, I've talked to none of my coworkers. And uh, obviously the radio station is gone. Um, so, you know, and, and the listenership, you know, you got to figure if you're number one in a big city, the, the entire city is listening. You know, our people, that's our people. If you listen to this show, you know, we got family everywhere. We have one. If we have nothing else in common, we have one thing in common. If you listen to this show, then, then you have something in common with those people there. So Fats Domino has been missing since Sunday. He's 77 years old, the legendary um, singer. He's been missing since Sunday. His agent has been desperately trying to call he and his wife. His agent's name is Al Embry. Al Embry spoke to the Associated Press and said that he hadn't been able to contact Fats since Sunday evening. 
Fats was in New Orleans at his house with his wife, Rosemary, and their daughter. And nobody's heard from him since Sunday. Shout out to Rachel listening in Maryland. Rachel Rachel Roach is her name, and she says, for women looking for large breast size bras, go to onehanesplace.com. They go up to size 56H. H? <sighs> How big is that? Each breast is the size of a bowling ball? How big is H? There's no H in here. <laughs> How big are your, your boobs, Stephanie? That's a that's a D? That's a C? It's a D. Yeah. I'm a D. What are you, Bianca? C? You're a C? What <laughs> Yeah, you got a boop boop. No, you got big boobs. Anyway, there's nobody there's no H on the staff. Not even Zoe's an H. Not even Taryn's an H. No. Taryn, the former queen of all interns. Yeah. And I think she had the biggest breast on the, the whole staff. <laughs> the website is one as in um O N E, then Hanesplace.com. And you got to put everything together. O-N-E-H-A-N-E-S-P-L-A-C-E.com. Martha Stewart's bracelet is off. I guess she is <clears throat> partying up a storm, so to speak. Nick Lachey, by the way, is joining ESPN College Game Day as a regular contributor. Mm-hmm. American Idol. You know, they're still doing their auditions. Dear Wendy, I'm 27 and single. I have no kids. I'm a black female and I make pretty good money. But honey, I thought that I would never be a listener of yours to have dramas. But, excuse me, I thought I would have never been a listener of yours to have dramas. But all that changed Monday night at my office. Uh (laughs) Wendy? My boss has always had had the hots for me. But I try to keep business and pleasure totally separate. That's true. But the other night, while wrapping up my boss's call, excuse me, while wrapping up, my boss called me into his office for a meeting. But Miss Wendy, Uh-oh. when I walked in his office, Ooh. my boss Easy. was sitting at his desk oh. naked! Oh. I couldn't believe my eyes. My boss is attractive, but I never thought like this. Wendy, I instantly became moist and turned on. To try and make a long story short, my boss locked the door and it was on. Kissing and licking. And this was the first time for me that... A toe was a toe. What? I busted four times. It was amazing. (laughs) Hold on. Here's Elisa with the doom and gloom. But before she does that, can I please finish my toe talk? See, this is what the Athan's going to be like. You're getting a a, a little glimpse of exactly what it's going to be like. I know, but you're going to have something to say about the Athan. But don't bring us down. We're in the middle of moisture. We don't want to hear it. No, this. Wendy, as I type this to you right now, my legs are trembling. Easy. Wendy, here's my dilemma. Uh-oh. This was my first sexual experience with a woman. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Rap! Oh, Lord. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Wendy. I don't feel uncomfortable, but I do. I wouldn't mind doing it again. Can you give me some advice? <laughs> Excuse me? Not how I'm doing. It's how you doing. Yes. You know, I would say if, damn, if you want to experience this type of pleasure again, it should be with anybody but your boss. Damn, but the Pandora's box is already open. What the hell? You're single with no kids. You can afford to lose your job, and and you don't have anybody to support. No, you know what? Seriously. In my opinion, and just in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, 
how can you play her close to the, I was gonna in my mind I'm saying play her close to the vest, but don't go there with her. But how do you do that when you've already crossed the line? She gonna want more. Yeah, you know what? I don't have anything to say. You're on your own. Yeah. Just be careful. Yeah, be real careful. And you know what? Save eighty percent of every paycheck as your FU money. Because when it goes down, it's going to be very unexpected that you get your pink slip. If it goes down. There's somebody calling on the... Um, That's him. How do you know? Because I spoke to them. He's calling back and he doesn't care if it's on the air. Okay, where are we going to go? Good, then we're going to be on the air. Hello? Hi, I'm Mr. Combs. Oh, okay. Now we're down to Mr. Combs. What do I call him? What do I call him? Right. Mr. Combs is on the line. Uh, oh, like the president. Hi, Puffy. Hey, what's up, girl? How are you? Just, 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 just chilling, just, you know, just watching this news bugging out, man. Yeah, I was just um, doing the, the story on you and Jay-Z in donating a million dollars to the American Red Cross. Yeah. That's good work. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, it, it's just crazy just looking at it. It's def definitely a sad time. And, um, you know, we j j just we were both on the phone talking. Yeah. Felt like, felt like if we could do something, we needed to really kind of do something now. Yeah. And um, so, so we that's what we decided to do. Mm. And you know, it's it's just it's crazy. Like you know, so hopefully the money will help. And, and we're we just praying right now. Our prayers are just that some help gets there right now. Why and, did you, why? And, you know? Ho hopefully, you know, the government will stand up and do what they're supposed to do. Here's the thing, um, because I noticed you chose the American Red Cross. I happen to be doing a radiothon on Tuesday. We're going to be on the radio for 12 hours, yeah. um, and and we're giving the money to the American Red Cross. As a matter of fact, the money's going directly there. There's no checks that are being mailed to, to here at the radio station. But we chose the American Red Cr Cross because I've researched it, and, and we as a show have researched it. And the American Red Cross actually does put money in the hood as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that was our, our reason. And also, exactly. that was the only people we were even seeing out there. If you saw anybody on the news, it was the Red Cross. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, it's like you want to go over there yourselves. And, and this is just a start for what we're both going to do. For us, you know, we haven't really done, we haven't really done any videos together. I uh, haven't done a lot together. We thought this was, was a great statement for us to get together and try to, try to help to get the ball rolling. And these are also people that have supported us. And th these are like our brothers and sisters. Yeah. We, we say that, you know, as, as black people, but it's really true. When you look at, Everybody that's out there, they look, they, they look like one of your family members, and they truly are. And, exactly. and, and it's devastating and it's sad, but we got to do what we can to turn it around. And, and a lot is given to me and Jay-Z, and a much, is, you know, much is expected, and we're just trying to do the best we can. Exactly. So where are you now? Are you still in Miami? No, I'm in Atlanta now. Mm -hmm. I'm in Atlanta. Um, I just left L.A. I'm in Atlanta now. Definitely. I'll be back there. It'll be Bad Boy South. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Justin's Restaurant. Yeah, yeah, we yes. have um, Justice out here. Yeah. So o o also, also we're gonna be doing some stuff out here because a lot of the people came here that could get in their cars and evacuate. A lot of people evacuated from New Orleans to Atlanta. So there's gonna be also some efforts done out here. Good work, my dude. You know, I wanted to um come down and go to your party over um um VMAs, but I couldn't make it. But you know, thanks for the invites and stuff. And I'm gonna keep this telephone call here um, positive. But I need you to let me know approximately when your CD is going to be coming out, and we're gonna be doing. Doing this interview that yeah been promising yeah yeah we we I mean th me and you are speaking on the air for the first time for a great cause and um you know we're going to do a, a a a a interview with each other a something something that people could understand how we have you know gotten our relationship back on track right um you know in in the next couple of months you know well, we're going to but I definitely you know, wanted to do this with you now. I think yeah. this is even for a better cause, better right. situation. Yeah. But then also after all of this is, is, is taken care of and hopefully God turns things around in a positive way, I mean, you get busy with our unfinished business. Exactly, because you promised me a no holds bar, according to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're we okay. going to have it out. That's what you want. So yes. we're going to do it so we can put it past us, you know? Yes. And, um, you know, it's it's funny how uh, tragedy br just brings people together. Like, I like how you and Jay have joined together and in our own little way, I even like how you've called here and we're talking about this and, and I'm showing restraint on my tongue and I'm keeping it just where it is because this, yeah. this is big. I'm glad that and you're... We, we, and we, we know that's a lot for you, Wendy, and we appreciate you, yes. you know, keeping it focused on the people and, and you know, 
you know, God will bless you for that. And you know, I, you know, I'll remember it. And when we get together, you can let it, you can let it loose. I'm gonna let it loose back though. You okay. Know? Okay, fine. All right. Well, look, if you stay on the phone for any more than 10 more seconds, then I'm about to change the, the turn, the tide. So let's yeah, get off yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I, I got to go, Ma. Holler at you. God bless everybody. And whatever you could give, man, if it's $10... A, a dollar, a penny, whatever is better than that. And most importantly, give your prayers up because God answers all prayers if you believe. Yeah. All right, Puff. Peace. Be easy. All right. Well, you know, look at that interview, you all. I mean, why start now? You know, I that was I wanted to keep that positive. Why start now? You know, the ah! you, you understand what I'm saying? Don't look at the radio like that. Can you please be human for a moment and not vulturistic? They understand. No, I see people over in Crown Heights looking screwy at the radio right now. I see people over in Jersey City looking like whiting. Ah! 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 Hey. No. No, we're going to have our interview. And when we have it, it's going to be good. But that was needed. And like Puff said, the American Red Cross is the way to go. So on Tuesday, September 6th, the Wendy Williams Experience Radiothon begins at 2 p.m. And we're rocking until 2 a.m. And we're asking you to listen with an open heart and an open wallet. And oh, by the way, don't forget your toe is a toe funny bone. Because... Uh, yes, that would require you listening with an open mind. Because if you believe that this show can sit somber for 12 hours, you've got to be kidding. We can't sit somber for 12 minutes. No. He got off the phone quick, didn't he? He had to. Oh, yeah. Because I was, I was, my tongue was starting to itch. Oh, ah! Yeah, my tongue, my tongue, my tongue, it was starting to itch. Oh, yeah. I was starting to twitch like a... He sensed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Itchy tongue, itchy tongue, itchy tongue time. Gotta go. All right, so you guys, we're going to take a break. We'll be back to round out the bonus hour of the Wendy Williams Experience right here on 107.5 WVLS. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's the biz monkey. <laughs> You're checking out the, the bonus, bonus hour, hour of Wicked Wicked Wendy. Wicked Wicked Williams. Wicked 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 Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody. Thanks for still being here. I love you. Love you, baby. Vaughn Harper's coming up with a quiet storm at 7 o'clock. It was a beautiful day here in the city today, wasn't it? Nice. Kind of the black cloud of thinking about New Orleans, though. It's like, you know. It's Pepsi Thursday here at WBLS. How would you like to go to a fabulous comedy show at NJ Pack? Yeah, the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. For those of you who are not in New Jersey, say you live in Long Island, right outside the Lincoln Tunnel, you go about three miles, you're in Newark, New Jersey. There's NJ Pack. You're not all deep in the cut of Jersey. It's September 10th. Cola number 10 is going to win these passes right now, courtesy of Pepsi, because it's the cola and your radio station, WBLS, because we're that station. And um, we've got Steve Harvey and some more coming to NJ Pack September 10th. So dial carefully and good luck, because it's Pepsi Thursday. Thursdays are special around here because, first of all, we celebrate with Pepsi Thursday, giving away great mm. stuff, but also because uh, we're, we, lo- we love the Shadow Night Club and their free Thursday nights. <laughs> The Shadow is free tonight, and don't forget, because it's the holiday weekend, the Shadow's having their singles find your match affair on Sunday night, because a lot of people don't have work or school Monday. Only 10 bucks to get in all night long, and ladies are free before midnight on Sunday at the Shadow. We're not working on uh, on Monday here on the show. We have special programming going on here at WBLS. You know, all the mix masters and whatnot, Chuck Chill out on all of them will be, you know, burning it up. So... Just when I thought I'd have the whole day off to sleep late, I'll be saying, Good day, New York! I'm Wendy Williams, in for Jody Applegate. Jody will be back tomorrow, meaning Tuesday. So, gladly I'll pop out of bed for that. I love being on that show. Hey, Chris. Hey, Mike and everybody. Good day, New York. I'll be on again Monday. So, everybody... Brooklyn is the place to be tomorrow, which is Friday. You can join the WBLS street team at ABRS Check Cashing. It's on Nostrand Avenue. 1446 is the address, and you got your chance to win passes over there for a Circle of Sisters, which is our big event, October 1st and 2nd. 
your WBLS. So you know that's going to be over at the Jacob Javits Center. The Hummer will be there marking the spot at 4 p.m. I'll do this too. No, Wendy. I'm not looking at the radio screw-faced. But I was listening hard with you talking to Puffy. And I did have bated breath. I'm glad your conversation with Puffy or Diddy remained positive. However, I must admit, I did not like his comments, R.E., in a couple of months. He'll interview with you. Who wants to wait a couple of months? Pin him down now. ASAP. We don't want to wait that long to hear you with Poodiwa. Poodiwa. (laughs) That's what he calls it. Um, Clearing the air between you very soon. That's from Vanessa. Vanessa, listen. You know the man is working on his CD. It'll be worth the wait. He has said it in a few different venues right now that he promises this radio interview and he'll be up here. I just figure it's pointless to go into a whole diatribe with him, you know, either in person or on the phone. Like, I've seen him in person a few times. And I, it, so it, you got to keep it cordial because why start asking questions when there's no microphone? And I realized that we just had a microphone now, but we were keeping a positive. We were keeping, the, we were compartmentalizing that phone call. That was about, you know, relieving... <clears throat> People going through it in New Orleans. Vanessa, I know what you're saying. It'll be worth the wait. Toy Shamara, uh uh-uh. She's in Garden City. Toy Shamara, nobody's writing famine or relief checks to Al Sharpton. They're going to be made out to the American Red Cross. She doesn't like Al Sharpton. She's like, Wendy, please, please, please. You had me ready to donate money this coming Tuesday for your radiothon until you mentioned the wrong name, Al Sharpton. No, we're not writing. She says he's going to use the money to buy cars and furs. Come on. (laughs) Toy Shamar, you're a mess. Keep your wallet open. You're doing that for American Red Cross. Thank you so much, darling Marilyn from the Jersey suburbs. She went to this website. Thank you so much for giving me this recipe. Because right now, the only big recipe that I have is for the Neiman Marcus holiday cookies. Remember years ago, those cookies were just the rage. My mom got the recipe from, you know, wherever, and now she makes them all the time. But this is one that I'd love to have. Thank you. I'm entertaining next week, and I'm going to make it. Houston's spinach dip. Would you like a coffee, Miss Hardy? Wow, yes. Well, go to the website as we speak. It's copycat.com. Go to it. Go. All right. Well, how do you spell it? Is it spelled properly or? Ebonically. C-O-P-Y. K-A-T dot com. Okay. Mm, look. The grated Romano cheese, the large clove of garlic, the frozen spinach thaw, mm, a jar of artichokes drain and pat, a container of soft garlic chive cream cheese, two large eggs, shredded mozzarella. Oh, I am in food heaven. <laughs> Mmm, Italian mixed cheese, tortilla chips, sour cream, and salsa. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Put the Romano cheese in the food processor with the metal blade. Turn on the motor. Drop the garlic in. Damn. Art? Yes? I'll give you this recipe if you make it and bring it in for a thon food. Oh, hell yeah. I, I mean, you. we're having a professional caterer, but you know what? Yeah. Nothing beats Houston spinach dip. Nothing all right, if you make it, can you make a big vat that's this big? It's not a problem. I'll, I'll even use fresh spinach. Thank you, darling, here. Wow. Mmm. Do I still go to copycats.com? Yeah, no, use that. Okay. Follow the recipe to the T. I will. And don't make it until Monday night. I don't want something that's been sitting. I got you. Okay. Make a lot of it, Art. I'll make a, I'll make a lot. I'll make a vat like that. Okay. A vat. Uh, yeah, a vat. <laughs> well, that's so funny. What's a, a quart? Like the, a quart of it? You just make a lot. Just keep mixing and a making. Right. <laughs> now there's twenty. There's about twenty five people when you add show up all together. Oh, this is not just for you and I. No, I was gonna say if you don't make enough, then only two people will be eating it. <laughs> all right. Shout out to the, all the men. Come on, say it with me. Come on, Vogue. Come on, boys. Uh-oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I was trying to usher in a celebration for you because guess what? Vogue magazine is launching Men's Vogue. Glossy pages packed with great features for the masculine audience. Tips on treating baldness and tips on new gadgets and fall fashion review. Fabulously clad men. George Clooney's on the premiere cover. Gucci, Prada, True Religion. Uh It's Vogue for men. On newsstands now for five dollars. An issue. Oh. Damn, that's expensive. <laughs> you might want to take the copy that your proctologist keeps in the waiting room. Yeah. That's expensive. Your proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Wendy, you are a mess. The other day I was asking myself if whether or not buttons were being sounded off in your head every time Tyson Beckford's name came up when you were on Good Day New York yesterday. Because I know the how you doing buttons were being pushed in my head. Anyway, right before the break in commercial, I heard you say how you doing and I fell out. I couldn't help but fax you. By the way, you look fabulous yesterday. That's from Sugar Baby. No, Sugar Baby. If I said how you doing, it wasn't... Sugar Baby, you're reading too much into it. But you know what? I figured just like you, Tyson Beckford probably wouldn't show up. And he didn't. And he was only going to be outside. You saw, we weren't even going to be near each other. And if we were, so what? We would have gotten over it. I wouldn't have done anything. Or, you know. And then he calls up talking about, my plane just landed. I'm in Newark. I got to do the segment on the phone. Everybody good day believed it. I didn't. Diana Ross's father is sick. Hold on. Here's her quote. My father is ill. I have an 84-year-old fragile father who has diabetes and he is blind. And whenever family calls, you have to run. He is my only living parent. Well, that's why she's not going to be performing at the World Music Awards in Los Angeles on Sunday. Um, This was in the paper yesterday. I just didn't mention it to you. Mm. Sorry to hear about that, Diana. All righty, everybody. My car wouldn't start when I just... Oh, by the way, did you get gas today? Okay, so I get my gas last night. Literally, it's like 11.45 p.m. (laughs) But I got it. Did you see on the news gas, like in places in Atlanta, six bucks a gallon? Are you kidding me? I filled up. Thank you, Bush. Is that what you say on Saturday night after midnight? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bush. You're welcome, Wiener. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, Bush. All right, you guys. Art's got the keys. I gotta go. Thank you so much for being here. I love you for listening. You know I do. And um, don't forget the people poll question, okay? Go to the website if you have a chance. Uh, the com. Yesterday's question, do you wear fake hair? 52% of you ladies said no. 48% of you ladies said yes. Here's the new people poll question. Do you watch more than four hours of TV daily? I must or I'll perish. <laughs> Are you with me? The Wendy Williams Experience dot com answer today and we'll get back with you to the with the results tomorrow. In the meantime, take care of one another and be easy because of Vaughn Harper's coming up next with the quiet storm on 107.5 WBLS. Love you, bye. Wendy Williams broadcast day has completed. Oh man!